Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with a center O put together with this uh, right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these uh, points uh, A, O and uh, C are collinear and the points uh, P and uh, T are uh, our points of tangency and furthermore uh, this side uh, AB of this uh, triangle is uh, one unit whereas uh, this side uh, bc is uh, two units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region this area this area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this big right triangle uh, ABC we are talking about uh, this uh, right triangle uh, ABC minus uh, the area of the semicircle we are talking about uh, this uh, semicircle uh, area so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the triangle uh, ABC and uh, the area of the semicircle uh, as uh, well so therefore we are going to calculate uh, the radius of this uh, circle I'm going to label uh, this one as uh, lowercase r and we are going to find the value of r and in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point P as you can see in this uh, next step and likewise I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, T as well as you can see in this uh, next step as well and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, OP and uh, OT are the radii of the very same circle so therefore I'm going to label uh, this radius as uh, lowercase r and this uh, radius uh, lowercase r as well and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees so no wonder all our these angles this angle uh, and this angle are our 90 degree angles since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines and in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, vertex uh, B as well as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see the area of the big triangle uh, ABC is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two individual areas this uh, triangle uh, ABO area plus uh, the area of the other triangle uh, BCO and here we can see this uh, whole uh, area is the area of the triangle uh, ABC whereas uh, this is the area of the triangle uh, ABO and finally this uh, is the area of the other triangle uh, BCO so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of the triangle uh, ABC the area of the triangle uh, ABO and likewise we are going to calculate the area of this uh, the triangle BCO as well and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times the uh, base uh, times the height and in our case uh, the base if this uh, right triangle uh, is uh, two units whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, one unit so therefore the area of this triangle uh, ABC is going to be a half times our base uh, is two times our height is uh, one and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, one square units so thus the area of this triangle uh, ABC turns out to be one and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABO and once again we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times the height and in our case uh, the base of this triangle ABO is uh, one unit whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 
the lowercase r radius. So therefore, the area of this triangle ABO is going to be a half uh, times our base is 1 times our height is uh, lowercase r. And if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, r divided by 2. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle ABO turns out to be r divided by 2. And finally, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, other triangle uh, BCO as well. And once again, we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula. And here in our case, for this triangle uh, BCO, this uh, side is the base of uh, this triangle and that is two units. Whereas uh, this uh, OP is the height, which is uh, lowercase r. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, BCO is going to be a half times our base is uh, 2 times our uh, height is uh, lowercase r. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, lowercase r. So thus the area of this triangle uh, BCO turns out to be lowercase r. And now let's recall this equation once again. The area of the triangle ABC is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABO plus the area of the triangle uh, BCO. And here we figured out our triangle ABC area as 1, the area of the triangle ABO as R divided by 2, and finally the area of the triangle BCO as uh, lowercase r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we got 1 uh, equals to R divided by 2 plus uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to tweak this uh, r. We can write this thing as 2r divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, now we got the same denominator 2. So therefore, uh, this equation could be written as 1 equals to 3r divided by 2. And now I am going to isolate this radius r. So therefore, I am going to multiply both sides uh, the reciprocal of this fraction. So that is going to be two third on the right hand side and I'm going to multiply the left hand side with the two third as well. So therefore we can see this uh, two and two is gone likewise three and three is gone. So therefore uh, our this uh, lowercase r radius uh, turns out to be two divided by three units. So thus our radius turns out to be two divided by three. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, semicircle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. And since we are interested in uh, the semicircle, so therefore uh, the semicircle uh, area is going to be equal to pi r square. And we are going to divide it by 2. So therefore, our semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times our radius uh, is uh, 2 divided by 3 whole uh, square. And here we can see 2 divided by 3 whole square is going to give us uh, 4 uh, divided by 9. So therefore, I can write uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 4 divided by 9. And if we simplify furthermore, that is going to give us uh, 2 pi divided by 9 square units. So thus the area of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 2 pi divided by 9. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And we already figured out our triangle uh, ABC area as 1. And the area of the semicircle as uh, 2 pi divided by 9. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So our this uh, green shaded area is going to be 1 uh, minus uh, 2 pi divided by 9 uh, square uh, units, the area of this green shaded region. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations, the area of this green shaded turns out to be 1 minus uh, 2 pi divided by 9 uh, square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.302 square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.